quickly check I'm recording. I just want to make sure. All right, good. All right, so Ragnar versus Larry. They start off Fox Ryu on town. I think this is fine. So Ragnar starts off with Shaku's to kind of push Larry back, which is really, really good. This already looks really, really good for Ragnar. He calls out this high jump from Larry and fares him. So Larry doesn't have his double jump. So he just jumps up and he fares him again when he lands on that platform. The things you really have to watch out for in this matchup against Fox is you have to watch out for him going above you with strong or with dare like that. Because he gets a lot off of those. Um, and you also have to watch out for run-in grabs. So he's already doing really, really well. He already has Fox at kill percent. Um, he just needs to be able to find that up tilt. He's doing a, a decent amount of focus to try and get out of combos, which you just can't do against Fox. So just up air you. Oh no! Look at this dash attack. This dash, this, this should have been stock over. Dash attack on shield. He turns around expecting it to go through, um, but it doesn't go through. So he wasn't ready to punish. Oh, it does catch, gets the Shoryu. So he's got a really good lead already. Look at him, you can, you can see him smiling in the bottom right. <laughs> Larry's all game, all, all, um, all serious though. Oh, that's tripped. Look at this Nair. It trips, so he gets the back air. That's brutal. I feel bad for Larry about that one. Look at how close I was to killing. So he he basically almost had the game there. Uh, was there something he could have done better there? I guess he could have done down air falling down rather than fast fall and then up up tilt. I think that would have ended the game. So just a little bit of optimization in the combo maybe. Jump up. Doesn't want to get caught. Let's get clipped by that back air. And yeah, the Tatsu in. Larry recognizes it. Fairfoot stools it. Yeah, that was exactly what you have to do. Larry's still in kill percent, mind you. And this should have been death for either of them. This fair footstool, like, that sh Larry... I don't know what happened that made Larry miss this, but... Um, <laughs> Ragna gets out of it and then doesn't punish Larry being that far down. So he needs a back air, he needs an up tilt, he needs a nair, he needs something. Oh, he's fiending. That was good. It was a good attempt. Larry's playing real smart right here. He searches for that. Look at this. This is really, really good. He gets the one up air and he faints the second up air. Um... So it looks like he's gonna go for the second up air, and instead he's going, he's trying to bait out a move so he can go for the fair foot stool. But he misses it and he gets Larry off stage again and doesn't capitalize. He really has to capitalize more on Larry being off stage, I think. Gets the back air, doesn't quite kill. Oh, look at this back air. Look at how close this back air is. He jumps up, nares. And then Larry jumps up. Look at this back air. It's right there. A few frames later, Larry comes through. It was so close. Up tilt. And so this is interesting. Ragna sure use out and just gets up smashed. So, I think what happens here is all of the first hits connect, and then Ragna Shoryu's out. And I think he's facing the wrong way, so the Shoryu doesn't hit Larry. Um, but I think what he could have done here is, before the last hit connected, I think he could have focus attacked that last hit, and then came down with the focus attack and killed Larry. 
Um, it's a little bit janky the way that turned out, but I think he could have focused right there instead of Shoryuing, and then came down and punished. Oh, he's, he's all smiles. He's okay with that. He knows he played well. The Dunk Master. Alright, so he pulls on pulls out the DK. They go back to Town and City and he switches to the DK. This is an interesting matchup. Oh, I don't know what Larry was going for here. Cargo up throw into Nair. It is not quite anything. Right is doing good spacing with fairs. Not getting caught with too many grabs either. There. That was really, really nice. So he jumps over the grab, gets weak Nair, up tilt, sure you. And it kills. So now, Ding Dong percent on Ryu is 77 to 99 with no rage on DK. So he wasn't quite in it at the start of the stock, but he definitely is now. Ding Dong. Does that trip there or no? Was that just... No, it didn't trip. It was just the knockback from the Nair. This has a lot of knockback. Or a lot of hits done, I guess. Not knockback. That was good Nair to up tilt from Larry. So at this point, um, Ragnar's almost at um, ding dong percent. I think Ragna might have the second best conversions out of Ryu's. Not including Trello. If you include Trello, it would be third. But yeah, he's just keeping the pressure on, on Larry, not letting him like get away with landing and like giving him any time. He gets the back air. This is really, really good pressure from, uh, from Ragna. So Larry got, went back to his tried and true, the fox. I respect it. Oh, goes for strong down tilt in the focus. It's a little bit wild. So Ragnar's already doing a really good job. He almost has Larry in kill percent already. Now he does have Larry in kill percent. Um, but we'll see if his playstyle changes at all. That dash attack was pretty bad, as was that Tatsu. And both of them cost him almost 50% in total. That was a really good Tomahawk from Larry. Wake up for you? Uh, that was good. For those of you guys who don't know, um, that thing I do when I do back air into beer versus true Shoryu, Ragna taught me that. That's a Ragna thing. People call that the locust, but that's a that's a Ragnar thing. So now he had Larry at kill percent, but because he made a few of those iffy mistakes, um, Larry was able to bring it back. It was a good idea to shore you out of that, but Larry was just a little bit too far away for that to work. 
Back air connects, doesn't quite kill. Down smash him, down smash him. Ragnar's gotta get better at um, down smashing on ledge. He isn't really punishing Larry on any of his um, his um, illusions. Is that what they're called? They're called illusions? Phantasms? I think it's illusion, right? For Fox and then Falco, it's Phantasm. Either way, he's out pretty far here. Up tilt up air, won't quite do it. Jumps off stage at the back air, loses all stage control. Misses the focus punish there. So you can tell he got a little bit scared. He had like a really good lead in that, um, the first part of that game. Um, and I think he just got a little bit nervous. Um, he's kind of missing stuff after a little period of time there. Um, so yeah, I think the first and the second game, he played really, really well. Almost at the first game, did solid, like really solid in the second game. But then just, once he got the lead in the third game, he kind of let it slip away. Just choked just a tiny bit. Um, so I'd say even though the combos are good and the pressure is good, it's just, you gotta be able to hold that down when things get tough. Is honestly the majority of what I'd say there. And also, you need to be able to punish Larry harder when he's off stage as Fox, because Fox off stage is like really not good. Like, really not good. So, yeah. I think that's all I really got for that.